Let's see what the next 24 hours has in store for you. And if you're seeing this video now, this is when the 24 hour time frame will begin. Okay, so we have, let's try again, surprise, and monkey. So I feel like somebody's actually going to be a little bit cheeky in a way that monkeys might be, a little bit playful. They're going to surprise you, okay, by coming back in and wanting to try again. But it may be that they say it with a joke. Okay, they do something in quite a humorous or playful, childlike way in order to get your attention or to see if that almost softens it. 30 days. So you may have been apart from somebody for 30 days or not spoken to them for like a month. I just noticed the heavy regret card. It just stood out to me. So I do feel like someone does have regrets. Thursday, why were these days and time frames coming out? And this might be when you last spoke or when someone is planning to come back in. Depends when you're watching this. Okay, what is this? We've got breadcrumbs. So this may be why they want to apologise or if they have regrets, that they just weren't giving you enough. They're giving you only just enough to keep things moving. Then we have a serious demeanour, okay, which is interesting because that's a contrast to this very playful energy. So yeah, I feel like your person thinks that either you're very serious and they want to break the, the coldness or the seriousness. And then we also have charming. Yes, exactly. This person wants to come in and charm you. But you now have the gift of forewarning. So if you don't want to be played in any way or to be charmed, then you now will see it coming. Oh my God, stop ignoring me. Yeah, this is somebody that you have ignored or that you've ghosted. You've not been giving them any attention. Okay, then we've got yes. Okay, if a question was popping up in your mind, yes or no, this could be the clarity you need, yes. But it may be that they just don't want you to stop ignoring, ignoring and saying no to them. And then we have golden hair, false promises. So you may have golden hair, they may have golden hair, I'm not sure why else that would be there. False promises, mm. So it may be that they come in with false promises. That may be something that you're keenly aware of with this person. Okay, but this also may be something that they want to apologise for if they were giving you false promises and not being straight to the point with you previously. No entry, 11th house. So you may say no to this person. You may not decide to allow them even anywhere near you. Okay, 11th house. Okay, this is connected to friendships and society. Okay, groups of people. So you may be going to somewhere where there's going to be a large group of people. Or you may have a lot of online communication as well. But I see multiple different people that you're going to be connected to as well as this person that's going to return. Longing. Mm. For some of you, you might actually be longing for this person to reconnect. But otherwise, there is that sense of longing. So you may be speaking to lots of people because you're longing to experience something or to feel something. Gift of the gab. See, what did I say? There's so much chatting, chat, chat, chat going on. But you may be somebody that is naturally gifted when it comes to the way that you communicate. Okay, again, you might be somebody that's very naturally funny and quick-witted or very articulate. Okay, definitely something about the way that you speak. So there's somebody charming that's coming in that thinks they have the gift of the gab, but I don't feel like they out-gab you. I definitely feel like I'm speaking to a big talker here, okay? So you might have a lot of air placements in your chart or a very strong aspect to your natal mercury. Oh, we do have a new beginning though. Okay, so there is something new as well coming in on the horizon, which is detached from this person from the past because that's past. So we do have something new. Let's just get a little sneak peek at what that is. It's a peer. Okay, so it may be that person disappearing is the new beginning. Okay, you maybe even you shutting them off, saying no, that could be like a new beginning for you. But disappear is strange. Curly hair. Okay, I feel like it's connected to a person. Somebody's going to come in and offer you something, and they have curly hair. It doesn't have to be romantic though. This could be about anything. But there's definitely somebody within the next 24 hours that has curly hair that's coming in to offer something new.